Okay, so I'm in the city of Timmins. Today is November the 12th, 2022. And I'm here with, you don't have to give your name. You can give, a, you can give a, a, not your real name. And um, if you wanna, I like to make the videos at least uh, 15 minutes long. The short, yeah, just 15 minutes long because any longer, it takes longer to upload. And I would like this video to be about children's aid, child welfare. Now there's a new class action lawsuit I want you to become aware of, okay? Yeah. Do you know what a crown ward is? Yeah. A ward of the crown. So if you are if you go into foster care and they got to keep you till you're 18 or 21, then you become a crown ward, a ward of the crown, the queen becomes your mom. So there's a class action lawsuit against the province of Ontario on behalf of all crown wards. Instead of going after every children's aid society, they're going after the province. And the allegation is this, look at it like this. If you're a victim of a violent crime on the streets, the idea is this. If you're a victim of a violent crime on the streets, you could file a lawsuit against the perpetrator. But if they don't have money, then how do you collect any benefits? Well, the board, the government created a board for victims of violent crimes for those situations where there's no money to be collected because they don't have no money. So they create a board, they got the board, they got the money, but they don't do a good enough job telling regular citizens about this. Now these regular citizens aren't under their care, but the Crown Wards, us, because I'm a former Crown Ward, I'm 34 years old, and I've already received the compensation. But anyway, so there's a class action lawsuit. I'm not a part of it because they'll, they'll call it double dipping. Okay, so they get an offer the, uh, months ago. The offer was considered too low. So it forces everyone back to the mediation table. They try to use COVID as, uh, oh, COVID, you really need money, right? So settle, because you need money because of COVID. And then they remove the board. So they want to say this, well, we removed the board. There's no board. so. How are we supposed to justify giving you $30,000? Just look at it like, oh, and then also like, so I learn about this board. So I file a claim with the board. The way it worked on the lawyer, on the web, on the website, it, ex it explained, you can, you get, fu you get funding for therapy before the hearing. And it said on their website, if they look at the, if they look on your file, if they look at your file and they go, we haven't even met this person yet, just, but, but just based on what we read, do you think we'll give this person anything? And if they feel like they will, then they give you some therapy before the hearing. And then it said, if they, after the hearing, they don't give you any money, any compensation, you don't have to pay it back. So what happened with me is I got my money, I got my therapy money before the hearing, then I go to the hearing and then they award me $30,000 plus 4,000 for therapy. But then I had to go to Hamilton and go find my deadbeat dad. I had to spend some of that money on those expenses, right? So my, so anyways, they get an offer, only 3,000. Anyways, just Google Crown Ward Class Action. What did you want it to say though? You can say whatever you wanted to say. People, people should be taken care of when, when they're thrown out of foster care at 18, there should be a support system for them. It never has been and there should be. Because this is the argument that I have. I think that everyone should get $30,000, 15 to 30, even if you can't, if you, if you were abused by mom and dad, I mean, I look at it like this. It's very difficult to prove you were abused by the foster parents. Yeah. But if you were abused by mom and dad, and that's why you went into care, and the majority of the cases are like that, then you should get compensation, not, maybe not for the abuse you experienced while in care, but you should get money for the abuse that you experienced before going into care. And I want you to Google Crown Ward Class Action because they just went to mediation, okay. a two-day mediation. They get an offer, it's considered too low, it forces everyone back to the mediation table. Everyone went back to the mediation table. So now we're all waiting for the lawyer to put the update on their website. Okay. And, it's, and it's on the news and already, but it's watered down. Yeah. So what I'm saying is this, don't, don't give me any more money. Just give me unlimited ministry funding. The idea is this, you go to the Timmins Family Counseling Center and they say, we offer six free sessions covered by the ministry. And after that, you have to pay $100 an hour. Well, the idea would be is under this new agreement, I'm a former Crown Ward. Give me unlimited ministry funding. If they can do that for that terrorist that Justin Trudeau gave $10 million to, yeah. remember he was a convicted yeah, terrorist. Yeah, yeah. That's just, they don't even do that for a juvenile, the juvenile kid. You got a kid who goes to juvie, but if his rights are violated in there and then he later on sues, you've never heard of them getting 10 million bucks. Yeah, yeah I gotta go, man, I've frozen at the pops. Okay, is that all you wanted to say? Yeah, I think you should be dealt with properly. It's not, it's how he's used as a child and uh, there's never been any support system for him whatsoever. There's no support system for male, males who have been abused in this country. None, no. I've tried. 
There's zero. And if you do call, you got the cops on your door. I know what happened to me. Wow, eh? Yes. Wow. Yes. Twice. Not once, twice. So it's a form of reprisal? Well, it's, they don't believe the mail, and they're taking someone downtown, it was me. And my wife was the abuser, and my parents, so.